Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. Today we're at Mount Fuji in Japan. So just over my shoulder behind the shrine building stands the incredible Mount Fuji. At 3,776 meters, it's the tallest mountain in Japan and by far the most revered as well. It's a very impressive sight, or at least it would be if we could see it. Unfortunately, it's very cloudy today and it's completely invisible. On a clear day, you can see it from Tokyo, 150 kilometers from here, but on a day like today, you can't even see it from the base, which is a bit of a shame, but not something we can control. But luckily for us, Fuji is actually on the World Heritage List, not because of its outstanding beauty, though that certainly plays a part, it's actually on the World Heritage List because of the revered position that it's had in Japanese society and culture for several thousand years. Let's check it out. Mount Fuji is one of the genuine icons of Japan. It even has its own emoji, and not many World Heritage sites can say that. As an active volcano, it's been worshipped and revered since time immemorial. There are shrines and pilgrimage trails running from the ocean shore right up to the summit that have been used for thousands of years. The shrine that we've just been exploring Fujisan Hongu Sengen Taisha Shrine is the headquarters of shrines around Japan that worship Fuji as a deity named Princess of Blossoms, and there's hundreds of cherry trees here dedicated to her. It's also incredible to think of the amazing art that Fuji has inspired over the years. I'm sure we've all seen Hokusai's beautiful woodblock painting series, 36 Views of Mount Fuji, which includes the iconic Great Wave of Kanagawa image. We also discovered that the oldest known collection of Japanese poetry, the 8th century Man Yoshu, mentions Mount Fuji. When we look up to the plains of heaven, the light of the sky-traversing sun is shaded. The gleam of the shining moon is not seen. White clouds dare not cross it. And forever it snows. We shall tell of it from mouth to mouth. O oh, the lofty mountain of Fuji. Fantastic stuff. So this is the start of one of the many pilgrimage trails that runs right up to the summit of Mount Fuji. And it starts down here in the forest. Over the course of a couple of days, you climb up through the forest into barren scrublands and then eventually into just volcanic desolation before reaching the top and it looks absolutely sensational as a hike to do and a lot of people do it but unfortunately it's way too late in the year for us to attempt it there will be an awful lot of snow up there now but that's it from me thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up if you liked the video leave me a comment let me know what you thought hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from the world heritage journey i'll see you next time